Welcome to the Ethos Podcast. Production. Mm-hmm. Hello everybody, how are you doing? Um, welcome to Ethos. <laughs> I'm here with Muka and Moses and I'm your co-host. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the interviewee has taken over. So, okay, I'm afraid now. No, but for now you can, you can do the interview. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's, your, what's your call out first to get you into this? Well, we can make me talk about what I've been up to. Yeah, yeah. Is that good enough? Not even enough. <laughs> we're going to get deeper than that. Yeah. We'll so, be. you're with Muka, mm-hmm. the legendary, magnificent, oh, wow. great artist, award winning, award winning, wow. Esther Chung, <laughs> one of the <laughs> best oh my gosh, you guys. I'm stars, I'm going to... rappers. Oh. Chris is a singer. I Singers! Will, I will disappear. <laughs> in Zambia. Yeah. In Southern Africa. Wow. In Africa. In other parts of the world. And Moses, <laughs> the, the other guy. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just the other guy. Uh, Sorry. I had a very loud laugh. I actually like seeing that. Like the human side to mm-hmm. <clears throat> the idols in our wow. country. Mm-hmm. Well, I die. Yeah, man. Please don't use that word. Okay, not that word. <laughs> we're Christians, yeah. So, idol might be taken the other the way. way. Uh, yeah. Our stars. <laughs> on, on, a, on a serious note, mm-hmm. welcome. And thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Mm, it's an honor. It's, it's quite amazing how people tend to meet. Yeah. All of a sudden, you just told Esther will be with us. Uh, this small setup, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our makeshift studio. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all right. So tell us, who is Esther Chungo? What is your life like? Like, let's start from there. So, who is Esther Chungo? Well, uh, I usually go blank with someone else, yeah. but. <laughs> Let me try my best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Esther Chungu is a very, I always say, simple lady. Uh, I love life. I love people. I genuinely love God. And I love being of help to the next person. Yeah. And so I've always grown up that way. Even with my siblings, though sometimes it would be a bad thing, I would rather be beaten on their behalf. Ah. <laughs> So it's like taking their blame. Yes, you know, I'd rather be blamed than take the punishment. And so I've seen it reflect even in most of my life decisions, even growing up. But in a nutshell, I'm just a very joyful person. Charismatic. Yeah. I was how, always laughing. How would you describe that? Yeah, like laughing. Mm-hmm. While um, I'm very optimistic. I, I I love to see uh, a light at the tun- at the end of the tunnel. I always love to make people happy, you know. And okay, let's say we met for the first time. Mm-hmm. Like you just bumped into I'll each other. I'll definitely crack a dry joke. Whoa. Yep. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll be good friends after. Take advantage of the awkward silence. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why did the chicken cross the road? No, but she did crack a dry joke. <laughs> no, let's let's see at the end of this. Why, uh, did, it why did it cross the road? Why? Why, why did the chicken? It was running away from her, you guys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> 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 
Because <laughs> you know, I've never heard it that way. Like no, honestly, it's an original. I really worked hard. Yeah. As in, no. it out. I'm wondering why I'd never thought of this. <laughs> it was writing from Hungry Lion. But uh, uh, that's cool. That's a cool yeah. Movie. Like there's some logic to that. Yeah, like it's if, it, it's, it's a hungry lion that's chasing it, or or it's, it's hungry lion. Hungry lion. Whoa. Yeah. <clears throat> about it. Don't worry, Hungry Lion, we'll put subtitles instead. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, but anyway, yes, I'm a very, and I'm awkward. I'm socially awkward. So uh, I'm scared of uh, crowds. Very, very ironic. You are scared of crowds? And I've intentionally used the word scared because I get very anxious when I see a lot of people walking at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so like, so, it's uh, if you're not in your space, mm-hmm. you are afraid of crowds. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. It's just uh, something that just happened. Yes. And how about on the stage? Like you're on the stage. Mm-hmm. I know you've been on, in a lot of concerts and mm-hmm. people yeah. show up. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? In contrast, it feels it feels different when you're on stage. Um, in some way, you have some sort of control. And so you you're you're safe ish, mm-hmm. and so I actually get into a different zone in that stage, like when I'm back to life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like so. It's like it's like if you're if you're in a or like meet about to bump into a crowd, mm-hmm. it's like a random stage. Mm-hmm. Like nothing is said. You don't know what could. You don't know what could happen. Uh, you don't know what weird people are about to meet. Uh, the mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Because <laughs> I'm also a very strange person. Mm-hmm. I pick random conversations with people just to dig into their mindsets, find out. I actually met these two girls. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was with the, I was with a client. We were seated together. Um, I was helping him with his laptop and stuff, and we we're also looking at the system we're doing. Then these two girls asked for a place to charge. They ask uh, if they could sit there, mm-hmm. and initially, like the way they behaved first, very honest, I guess. I don't know how I can say it, like trying to be innocent, but then after he had gone, mm-hmm. they started playing games, I think. Mm-hmm. One of the girls left the other girl with me, so that we start conversations, and I'm like, okay, let me, let me... Let me dig into this person's Mm -hmm. life and you're already interviewing the person, you find out she's a model, her family needs her to be taking care of things, which was partly not true. I don't think so. You know, it's it's, it's that thing, like, um, I'm a vulnerable person. Mm. I need your help type of thing. Like, you can sponsor me. Mm. It was going to go. It was going that way. Yeah. So I started digging into her and then giving her life coaching. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'm usually, I'm usually the the guy who who does that as well. Like, I make people. I want to make people feel uncomfortable so that I gain like that strength, that that composure to talk to them. Is, uh, is that a dysfunction or it's a it's a it's a good character trait? Uh, it depends. Like other people, I think. Um, just have it by habit, mm-hmm. like as a defensive mechanism, mm-hmm. like, yeah. like you, mm-hmm. it would be, um, adaptive, like uh, an adaptive kind of response. Okay. Mm-hmm. But then for people who have actually analyzed it, like, like me, I use it to my advantage. Just for fun. No, not just for fun. Sometimes even just to share your faith, mm. you don't really look at, um, does this person know the Bible? You have to look at their life first. Mm-hmm. Like uh-huh. how how uh, functional is it? Is it dysfunctional? Is it productive? Is it what? And if if it's if it fits a certain um, line, you actually end up like finding what to say or what to do. Because if I found someone who's equivalent to me, I would just be chilled. I'll just be like, yeah. you know, like I, there was a banana I ate last week. It was very delicious. Very random conversation, mm-hmm. like speech. But then when it's someone who's, I actually feel this person is in a very vulnerable place, mm-hmm. even if they think they have that power. Ah, yeah, bring Jesus in the topic. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it, it's actually effective in a way. Not, not that people should do it. Mm-hmm. It's, for me, I find it um, 
I, it, it makes people become approachable. Yeah. yeah. You know, when they feel <gasps> exposed, you know, yeah, it, it becomes and, and relatable. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that way it's easier for them, for you to actually get to them, for you to have a conversation, for you to, to become friends. Yeah. Like the other day I, I was on a bus um, and there was this, he was this just a, a young man. He's a DMI centurion. He was, he was drunk. So I was reading this book, and for him, he was like interested in that book, you know. Mm-hmm. I was ah no, I actually read books as well. But for me, the conversation I wanted to have with him was not about the book. It was about the the him being drunk. Yeah, him being drunk. He was was talking about no, I'm I mean uh, PR and studying to to become what's PR public, public relations. relations. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow, you're quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's 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 cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he was very much interested in the book, mm-hmm. and he was very much interested in my social media. Mm-hmm. You know, so I thought, no, I'm not on on social media. I'm what just, book were you reading? It was uh, the secret. Uh, yeah, uh, is it the Rhonda Pine? Yeah, yeah. yeah. R- what's it? Rhonda? I forgot the art, the, mm-hmm. the writer. Pain mm-hmm. or something. Isn't that the book Isn't about the attraction? The yeah, uh, law of attraction. That? Yeah. Just to discuss the book a bit. Yes, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. But as in, don't you think that sort of replaces God in it the does. picture? It yes. does. Yeah, so it does. You, yes, but of course he created the universe in a certain way that you, you actually do attract, attract, that you can't take away God from this whole No, world. you can't. Because yeah. like for me, the way, I, I actually watched a few... Uh, the interviews, videos, eh? yeah. Yes. Um, I would, I would relatively say, like, for Christians, we actually apply similar uh, technologies yes. in terms of uh, faith, because it's mm-hmm. also a faith thing. Mm-hmm. For us, it's it's not uh, that that kind of like. There's always a um, a power yeah. where the source is. For them, the, the source is usually within yourself or within the universe. So, mm-hmm. like anywhere there is a positive energy, negative energy, for us, it's always God. Yeah. And if you keep a positive mind, especially like, because um, for Christians, mm-hmm. it's praise. Mm-hmm. That yeah, keeps us moving forward. That keeps us seeing the truth in life, that God is actually there, that is uh, helping. Yeah. Usually when you, when you doubt, you're like, oh, my life is hard, mm-hmm. I'm going nowhere, then you're already putting God aside. So like mm-hmm. that's like attracting the negative. Him away, yes. Yeah. And he so, can't force himself. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I actually believe most of these belief systems, they trace back, back to, to God. Yeah, mm-hmm. back yeah. to God. And everything, everything goes back to him. Yeah. And it is very interesting. I actually read that book because I was trying to understand. A friend of mine just reached out, oh, no, Dude, I've I've actually realized uh, that I can I can go straight to the source rather than going through a middleman and everything. So I was asking him, "Yo, are we cutting out Jesus Christ as the the way to the to the mm-hmm. Father?" Yeah. He says, "Ah, no, I'm going straight to the source." So I didn't realize that he was talking about the power of attraction and everything, all the energies, everything that you surround yourself with. Yeah. All the thoughts, everything that you think about mm-hmm. is what will come to you and everything. Mm-hmm. And that was, for me, uh, it was a cringe moment in a way, you know. Yeah. It was, I was like, ah, okay, mm-hmm. this guy is mm-hmm. lost mm-hmm. now, you know. Yeah. Just... So I was trying to understand where he's coming from so that I will be able to get to him. And that has been successful That's in a good. way. That's very good. Well, just to conclude on the question, um, I'd say <laughs> <laughs> I'm. We told you she's I'm taking a, over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I'm. I'm not yet a wife. I'm mm. not yet a mother. For those people who think I'm able to get wife, I don't oh. even know how. Oh, far. Okay. I don't know. I understand yeah. those who think I'm his sister. I've but, never made that connection. Yeah. No, but, like, like yeah, when I say some people are so convinced that I can steal the mother's wife. Yeah. So that's, that's why though? Yeah. Why? I genuinely don't know. 
anyway. I think it's uh, yeah, like, obviously yeah. the names, but yeah, but we, again, we have different surnames. These are our middle names. He's oh. Ebo Chungusuka and mm. Esther Chungula. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's that's usually that's people the, don't understand that. Ah, mm-hmm. That's the misconception. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think it's mostly those fans who we we were saying let's not use the word idolize. Mm. They are the ones who idolize. Like Esther Chungu, who is she dating? Mm. It must be, you know, and mm-hmm. instead of focusing at the art, that's what you're giving. Right. And if you are you, are you doing any lifestyle programs? Like, uh, Actually, I'm uh, Tuvange. Yeah. Tu? Yes, Tuvange lifestyle. Tuvange. Tuvange. It's, it's, it's Mangwe. Tuvange. Let's uh, talk. Oh, let's talk? Yes. Ah. Okay. On Zambezi Magic. And how how's that show for you? Like, what? It's actually really interesting and, and, and amazing at the same time because I get to see different aspects of women from different spheres of influence and perspectives in terms of mindsets and whatnot. And just interacting with, with them helps helps me and helps me also just contribute to being a light, you know, in, uh, the, in the world. In, no, the in, in, in line with, with that, I actually saw an episode where they're talking about um, side chicks. Yes, that's the that's the recent one. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Those those are the topics shared. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. so usually it's about what's going on in society. And so last week's uh, episode, last time's episode rather, was how to deal with, you know, side chicks, you know, you're married or you're in a relationship and you know about the side person. Mm-hmm. Who do you approach? Your husband, wife or your So who, the husband has a side chick and mm-hmm. you're the wife. Mm-hmm. You want mm-hmm. to know how to yeah, yes, you go do? about it. Do you fight... Uh, no. Do you approach the side chick? Do you approach your husband? Actually, uh, I want the conclusion from you, but for me, mm. the way we talk to my girlfriend, like when we just started, we're like, I, I hope you're not one of those because the moment you mess up, I'm gone. I'm out. Yeah, and we say that to each other, mm-hmm. like in joking, but initially, we we're very clear about it. Yeah, that's true so, in humor. Yeah, yeah. So, um, just you like did, a chicken joke. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So you you'd be like, um, oh, you you you've done this. Mm-hmm. Like I know about it. I'll come to you, mm-hmm. and I I don't need to be dramatic about mm-hmm. it. I'll just be like, you know the deal. Yeah. They we can't fix this. I personally wouldn't continue with it. I know marriage is another place. Mm-hmm. But even then, I think. No, but because <laughs> because do, do you see? Um, uh, let Let's talk about this. <clears throat> In terms of you having a purpose, for me, I think me having a significant other and we're planning to get married and mm. stuff like that, I, I, I am obligated to give them a benefit, the benefit of the doubt if they run into such a situation, you know. Okay. Maybe it was, it, I wouldn't say, I don't, I don't want to say, mistake. Uh, yeah, it, this, okay, mistake, mm-hmm. yes, I, didn't want, I wanted to mm-hmm. say a weakness, but. Okay, mistake. let me let me give the favorable scenario for it. Like, okay. if you're if you're going to go that route, so she's got work where mm-hmm. she has to engage with the clients a lot. Of course, you've seen this in a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. Now the idea is she's in the company of someone who sort of uh, maybe be com- feeling a void that you're not yeah co- right. yeah mm-hmm. com- like complimenting those parts, mm-hmm. and then eventually the guy himself is uh very forward and you know when you're you're, when you're one-to-one with someone yeah there's always a power dynamic so you feel like my husband has elements that are off this guy is good at these things so he he even holds a higher ranking towards the husband Mm -hmm. so when he makes that move you're you're kind of um already emotionally attached yeah like the defenses are way low and depending oh. on what happens, like if if she in, in there's, there's this movie um I was Marriage watching no no uh, no it's it's a very old movie uh incomplete uh I'll explain it shortly <laughs> <laughs> um this woman is a very strong woman she whenever a guy tries to approach her she turns him off uh because she's married to a guy and that guy. With her is struggling, uh, struggling to have children. They can't have children. Mm-hmm. 
the guy actually took a test. He can have children, so it's most likely her. So eventually that comes up and it destabilizes her. And at work, uh, there's this guy she starts working with who is very um, charismatic. He loves his wife. He talks about her all the time. He says he has a child and stuff like that. So she sees she doesn't have children, but this guy has children and he's an awesome man. Eventually, they cheat. And then she gets pregnant. Yeah, and like that's that's the story behind it. But anyways, you you think uh, for her, she initiated a lot of this. The one place I saw when I was watching it was a call. She calls the husband. I'm about to I'm about to meet this guy. She wants to tell him that she's going to meet him. Is it okay if they like? It's a work meeting, but they have to meet. But he says I'm busy right now. You know. And then I was watching it with uh, Max, the chairperson from Karikiriki. He was like, ah, you can't say this is, this is the point where she, 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 she gives herself the excuse. I'm like, yeah, he, he could have said it in one word. Wait, or I'll call you back, you know? Something like no, that. But the point I was trying to, to put across was um, the purpose itself. Mm. This is why we, we encourage to like pray about what we are planning to do. Like Talk what are you willing to forgive? That's that's what I was getting to. No, it's 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 all about you because if your purpose is in that person, you cannot, regardless of all the kinks, you need to soldier on. And that's what's you know? um funny, how we we can't run away from the fact that we place conditions on who and how we love. Mm-hmm. You mess up and out. Yep. But it's so funny how God still sticks by us even when we're like at our yes. messiest. So even how he asked you guys to love to love your wives like Christ loved the church. Mm-hmm. The church hasn't really been very no. faithful to him. But he still mm-hmm. sticks by it. Yeah, so there's all these angles to it. But anyway, I said um, the conclusion to that show. would be <laughs> to approach the person you're in the relationship with. It's yes. not about the person it's outside. Yeah. Sometimes you may never even know your partner didn't even disclose the fact that you are, he's actually committed. So you go and fight with the other person and then what? Yeah, I've seen a lot of on cares. Facebook. Yeah. That so lady with the. I'll oh, burn you. Doesn't end well. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, burn you. Burn you. Yeah. I'll burn you. She even likes a match. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. And I'm Matches. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Just one, one okay, so relatively like this is this is like superstar levels of things. Were you always <laughs> Yes oh, as in, nice. I'm, I'm, if if you didn't know, I'm actually very nervous right now. <laughs> yes this, this was this was hey Hunka, um Esther Chung will be on the next pod. Scared. From that day <laughs> I've okay. been preparing my mind. Okay. Not being starstruck, mm. let's uh, so influences from you becoming a view. Yeah, what you wanted to do, yeah, what led you to yeah. becoming who you are today? Mm. Well, mm, that's a very good and uh, confusing question, and I say so because sometimes you, you don't really know. Uh, who's influencing you that they end up influencing you yeah. but I know for, for a fact uh, my mother has influenced me a lot uh, she actually sings oh so, no. yes so <laughs> she sings and I love her so much at she what level sing. was she singing just in the choir uh, so I'd always um, escort her to, to church even when she's singing in the choir and I just found out that my dad actually used to sing as well he died when I was four years old so uh-huh. I'm like, yeah and he used to lead the choir as well. I guess that's how they met. And he used to play drums, used to play the guitar. And so I come from a musical background. Uh-huh. Yes. But just in society as a whole, um, I have been influenced by the likes of Angelique Kijo. I love that woman uh-huh. so much. I love her. her. It's so, it's so music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've always loved her. Since I was young, I used to watch her on some oh, songs. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, she's, yes, I think she's originally Senegalese, but she's she's uh, in the rest of the world right now. Oh. Yeah, and also the likes of Sissy Winans, and locally, I have been influenced by the likes of Rachel, 
um, even Chile Chip Wadia, you know, the companies, yeah. you know, 44, yes, one or the other, and also writers, yeah. um, funny enough, yes, mm-hmm. like um, it's Nigerian novelists, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, I love her wow. so much. Yes. Um, the feminist, huh? Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> she is the only one I follow. Wow. Cool. <laughs> yes, and um, also just interactions with people. Like, I'm, I'm influenced by life yeah. by experiences, yeah. both for myself or just yourself. You know, what you're going through, we interact, we talk, and, you know, I try to see how I can bring that out through music. And just being in touch with people. I feel like sometimes we get so overwhelmed by the same, you know, star and celebrity lifestyle oh, yeah. that we detach ourselves from the reason we first started this. Yeah. Yes. So I always remind myself of this. God is using you for the people. God is in the people business. So you can't run away from the people that you are. You know, like it's you guys buying the music anyway. It's you guys coming to the concerts. Yeah. And so if I'm not as reachable as should be, you feel detached. Uh-huh. So I feel so it's a 50-50. So like, you're young, you're watching the, that music mm-hmm. and the stars, mm-hmm. you'd sing along. Sing along. Yeah, then... <laughs> well, uh, pretend to be on stage, I'll be on stage with the in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but but would, back then, would you have ever thought that you would have made it to where you are right now? Definitely not. Well, of course, like, we all dream, like, oh, I really want but now seeing it come to, to pass and slowly uh, be established, it's like, whoa. She said, she said, slowly be established. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, in line, <laughs> so, in line with, sorry for cutting your mouth short. It's okay. <laughs> All right, but before you, before you do, so, like, you was, you were doing that. And you had no idea you'd be here, but during the that stretch, before you were you were a star, uh, I'll be very quick on those. Before you were a star, up to up to the um up to the point you became a star, the journey in between. How was it really like? Was it determined by yourself, by circumstance, or was there an external influence like family or like mom? Maybe mm-hmm. she just went like. Well, you sing so well. Why not try this? Or mm-hmm. well, um, there was some external influence. Usually, uh, specifically for my aunts, actually, um, we are we are almost in the same age um, range, and yeah. so we'd spend a lot of time together. And we'd, we loved singing. And so they'd be like, you know, actually, a really good singer. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> the time I was doing low at university, I was like, ah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yes, and then <laughs> life happened, circumstances happened, I had to put low on hold. And while I was waiting, a friend of mine invited me to be just with poetry. And so we started uh, having this duo thing where she does poetry and I do the singing. Uh-huh. And people actually really loved it. And that's how this journey started. Uh, wow. Yes. So when I met up, when I made the decision, like, okay, I'm actually taking this seriously, um, I made the decision to use it as a tool to, to preach the gospel. And so I told God and asked him to, to use me intentionally, you know, because it's an intentional call. Mm-hmm. And so then I was introduced to Rema Bible Training Center, and I, and I went to study there. I did theology and leadership. I graduated in 2016, and that's the time we actually released the, the album. Wow. Yes, because yeah. I really wanted to know God for him. I had a lot of misconceptions about him. Yeah. Yes, and the one that stood out the most was uh, him being a God who just wants to seek out who's doing wrong and just punish us, you know, and yeah. just teach us through ugly, you know, uh, experiences of life. But I was assured there that um, mm-hmm. God cannot and will never use uh, a bad experience to teach you anything. His plans for us are good. Yeah. Uh, gives us hope and a future and he never wants to harm us in any way you know we harm ourselves because he's given us dominion over the world and we are the ones doing all these mm-hmm. unnecessary things it is so, man who yeah. is the problem mm-hmm. but I'm, I'm quite amazed like mm-hmm. you, you actually had to study theology mm-hmm. just to accomplish is it for your music yes, itself so specifically for the music but of course like personal growth as well mm-hmm. but i said if i want to really take this seriously, I must go the whole nine yards. 
I actually respect um, really that. Really, just people because we we represent God, and yeah. to some extent, music actually preaches to people more than the preachers. Yes, because the we are we're talking to you every day, yeah. literally every day. So if you're hearing, you know, God is going to punish you because you did something wrong. <laughs> 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 That's what you go with the whole week. Yeah, you know? yeah. I actually wish most uh, people who had that position would acknowledge how great a responsibility is because it is you there's some pastors who just come up and wake up and just start talking to people oh that's to mellow to mellow is in the house Hello, how are you fashionably late yep he was working out his glasses yes i am real bad okay <laughs> yeah. how are you how are you good good Okay. We've met before, right? I think so. Yeah. I, we, we actually have. I don't know where, but we have. Chica. Maybe a bit this week, yeah? Chitalu. Yes, yes, friend, right? yes, yeah. yes. Oh, Sweet. Oh, nice. Right. To Mellow. <laughs> How's it going? How's Today he's in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What did I miss? <laughs> All right, so currently <laughs> we're talking about, like, she actually studied theology and what? Leadership. Theology and leadership, and leadership. it was in line with her career mm-hmm. music it's music. it's very we rare we did have a course in music as well wow within the same yes why sorry why worship okay mm-hmm. so like you so you actually have to study worship as well as well mm-hmm. where did you study i remember bible school oh okay yeah. cool cool mm-hmm. so it's theology. but you always want to do music that's, that's yes well it, it wasn't that always yeah. i always wanted to be a lawyer mm-hmm. oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah like, <laughs> but i guess what, i'm still advocating for people <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm actually very, very curious about just like your faith base. Mm-hmm. Rema, Rema represents what specific sect? Is it just general? Um, general, uh, of course, like the Christian side of. Yeah, I uh, don't know how to explain it. it. Denomination? You yes, mean? but yeah, in like, terms of denominations, that's people like people from the Catholic Church, people, like people from. SDM? SDA. Uh, the three sects I like to hear to be uh, be in one place are Catholic, mm-hmm. SDA, Jehovah's Witness. I've never really seen a Jehovah's Witness at Rema, but I don't know. Mm. But Catholics are there, SDAs, Baptist. Baptist as well. Oh. Baptist, I Especially think is Baptist. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I would expect a lot. UCZ as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and your personal base, mm-hmm. what's what church do you go to? I go to Tabernacle Faith Worship Center. Yes. But I also I'm usually found that in Apple Life. Yes. That yep. you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm usually in the audience. Oh seriously. So, yeah. 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 Both you go to Rebecca? Yeah, yeah, I don't oh. remember there. Oh nice. Yeah. The same one? Yes, Family Church, yes. That's why I remember Bible school. Your fans yeah. are going to come to that church now. <laughs> you all know now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they, they, they already know. Yeah. There we go. You know, it's, it's, I think it's just me. Get with the program. <laughs> Speaking of getting with the program, like, what time did you guys start? Um, uh, about, wow, it's almost an hour ago, is it? Wow. wow. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, 33 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so far it just sounds like just moved. I know there were challenges, like even transitioning from law mm-hmm. to music. Mm-hmm. Very hard. But music in itself, like before you could even be acknowledged, because there are artists that have that struggle, like which studio is going to pick me up, which mm-hmm. what. What did it take for you to actually hit that first recording, that first that, you know, that got out there? You know what's funny is that I didn't really necessarily um, uh, struggle, struggle, struggle yeah. to find the people who, who helped me, you know, the mm-hmm. band 44 and, and everyone. Of course, like I had this this journey of, oh, oh what am I going to do now? And whatnot. Yeah. And God connected me to Mac 44 quite early in, in this journey because I was used to be found at So Good. Oh, yes. okay. And then yeah. from there, went to Bitter Sweet. And from there, we got connected to uh, Matt 44 and Stevie Mwale, who really helped me in my journey. Yeah, so I've been with Matt 44 since then. And I can't really say what I'm about to say, but okay, so I'll just 
Maybe you know about it. Uh, no, I, I don't. I want to know. I'm a very curious no. guy. Is it a spoiler? Or? Be, it, it's a spoiler, so I would rather. Okay, I, I, I hate spoilers. But it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, yeah, sorry. Wow. I'll be the fit. You've hit the nail on the No! I just don't know. Move on. <laughs> yeah, so it's been like good. It's been, a, it's been a great a journey. Yeah. I, actually, yeah. actually, I actually love how. <laughs> I, I, in fact, maybe I should ask this. This is for the sake of Christians out there who want to make it. You said you made an intentional prayer. You made an intentional. Um, was it? A, a, a convicted uh, statement on your life. Mm -hmm that your music should be intentionally for God. Mm -hmm. What point was that? At the very beginning. At the very beginning? Yeah, I don't know if that answers your question. Yeah, so, like, um, that first breakout, oh, the bittersweet uh, mm -hmm. poetry, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. period, mm -hmm. was it during then or before then? I think during then was was when I realized, like, oh, this should be a huge thing. It's a powerful tool, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. might as well use it for the betterment of everyone. Yeah. So you've relatively just been in the faith, like the way it is, like you've never been, my mom and dad take me to this church, I do what they want me to do, or you've always known, this is me, this is my conviction, this is what I want to do for mm -hmm. God. I grew up in a Christian home, and but, but I made my decision, you know, the personal mm -hmm. sinner's prayer yeah. when I was 12, okay. and I've walked with God since. Of course I've had, like, yeah, yeah but, moments yeah, of absolutely. being a runaway child, but... Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. I was going to ask how you were very much intended. Sorry? Very much. Yeah. So I worked really I hard for that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, you <laughs> missed the joke, bro. Yeah. Hey, let me do it, let me do it. Why did the chicken cross the road? To not get eaten? It's close. Yeah. yeah. So it's running right from Hungry Lion. Okay, I said it. It's a, it's a dry yeah, way, but she's really better. Very, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> delivering. Uh, yeah, it's all about I'll, I'll improve. I'll improve. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> when you borrow jokes. It's yeah. never original. <laughs> but I tried. I know you people love it. Yeah. You're a constant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 his uh, concola. That's his alias, by the oh, way. Oh, we call him Monks, so he's so much cheap there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you from there? <laughs> Chimpusa is my fa was my father's village. Mm -hmm. And Chief Chimpusa was his chief. And that's like close to the Congo. So partly I think I'm Cong Congolese. I okay. think it's possible. It's possible. It's very possible. Funny thing I I always never talk about, I think which is something I would like to talk about yeah. after some time. Mm -hmm. Because my dad was actually Congolese. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they they migrated to here, then or Bemba, so, ah. <laughs> so, so there's, there's a whole thing around <laughs> this. Is that the documentary? I'm actually thinking you have some insider I'm information. Well, you're well, the wrong person. Well, you're the wrong person to ask. Well, just a lucky guess. So what's what's uh Mad working on? I have no idea. No, what, what's what? coming? Uh, they just like a, a producer school. Ah. Uh. Oh yes, music loop. Yeah. Academy. Yeah. It's running. Yeah. Right? yeah, it's running. Uh, it's in PHI. Are you one of the tutors there? No, I'm one of the students. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Try and learn how to produce me. No, uh, uh, play the guitar. I'm oh, nice. nice. I'm nice. Like, Do you play an instrument, by the way? Yeah, I'm still, I'm learning still the guitar. Learning. Okay, yeah. nice. Superstars are still learning to be stars. Sure. Oh, wow. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. I was going to ask how uh, you came to the faith, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure if that's been covered yet. Uh, roughly, roughly. Roughly, but yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Like, of course, you said you grew up in the... Mm -hmm, the Christian home. I always grew up like, you know, God is one of the family members that just never see. Ah, yeah. and yeah. always put it that way. Yeah. Oh, nice. like, oh, God, God. The prayer when you're 12, mm -hmm. where did it happen? My, How? my uncle, my uncle led me to Christ. He mm. was a pastor, pastor, dead in Sopila. And we had a Bible study at home. And I just moved in with them because I was staying with them for, for some time. Yeah. And then he led me to Christ. Yes. 
I can I can almost identify with your story because my aunt led me to Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's funny that you you, you know yeah. you grew up in a Christian home, yeah. but yeah, yeah, like, 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 like folks, be... they, they talk about yes. Christ, but like on a serious uh, note, it was yeah. my aunt because mm-hmm. that that um Bible show that used to air on uh, ZBC, mm-hmm. I forget what it was called, but it had like a it had like a scary beginning. We're talking about What's revelations. It? Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> yeah, they were, yeah, I think yes, that was the yes. thing. Yeah, it was like it was like around Fridays, right? Yes. So yeah, watching that, that with my aunt. That was a scary yeah. one. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it always freaked me out. So I'm watching that with my aunt, on like a Friday evening, and yeah, just right after the show, she was like, sat me down and gave me she was like talk, and was like, do you want this? Like, do yeah. you want to, you know, your life to Christ? And I was like, all right, cool. I have a question for the both of you. <laughs> that, was, mm-hmm. that was that. Like. You at that moment, right? Today, do you would you say that very moment is still the foundation? Because we all have places. For, for me, yes. Uh, but then I sort of had to like redefine it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. later on, because I had mm-hmm. to like find it for myself. So it's like yeah. breaking, building yeah. bricks and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Not sure what to say. No, I'll say the same as well because when I was uh, the 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 first time I was oh I just don't want to go. Yeah. You know that yeah, that's fear. Fear. but yes, yeah. and then you now get to know God on a personal level, and you're like, "Wow, He's really amazing!" Yeah. You know, and yeah. I want to know Him for Him, and not because of the benefits I find yeah. of knowing Him. Yeah, I never had that strict moment yeah. until I was in uh, the eleventh grade. Uh, the the group I was in, it's it's kind of funny. Uh, if I stayed in uh, in Belembe, some of them went into ponds, like stuff. What? Yeah, it became a messed up uh, oh. scenario. Oh. Some some of them. Then what? in <laughs> wait wait but, but but you say it like it was a yes religion. like oh, like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all when like, you the, it's like, like it became a dark place. Yeah. Like people you thought you knew ended up doing things that way. A little too far off from yeah. and then I on the other hand I already I also grew up in a Christian home yeah. Catholic home and all the way through. I uh, like my like you. You had your moment, and I can't even place that moment because instead of being afraid of hell and stuff, I'd listen to some songs. Uh, there was this um, "I'm on my way." <laughs> Dive in. Um, it, it used to play on what's which channel was that? J- 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 yes. Oh. Then um, the way it was, it would always feel like I'm listening to this song. It's taking me higher, yeah. and I would always want to see. Where God is, like I, that's mm-hmm. interest. I would always, yeah. it always drove me, and even up to the point where I actually saved myself. I and I was baptized as a Catholic um, in grade nine, mm-hmm. but that wasn't it. Yeah. It had to be way later. The moment I did that, I started experiencing a difference in my environment. Like, I I, I always had this connection, like. I know there's this stronger feeling, like the environment, I can actually sense when God is there. And I had very great fears, like when it's dark, I would sense dark things and I know there were dark things. Yeah, then that time when I uh, completely gave myself to God and I acknowledged that this is definitely my faith and that was beyond uh, the church I was with. Then there'll be times I'll sit under a tree, I'll feel the wind blowing, I feel like it's the Holy Spirit. And then mm-hmm. we also had a strange movement in the 12th grade where a very charismatic group, yeah. our, our group had Catholic members, Jehovah's Witnesses, SDAs, and we're all singing in one choir. And in um, that same group, you had um, the school uh, head boy, mm. the, and I was a captain. You know, very weird group. And that was a very strong moment for me because it's con- confirmed a lot of things in my life. I I won't get that into yeah, that today. Clear. I'm just like, um, it's it's peculiar how how we turn to God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, all about different. Yeah. Uh, no, because my moment was actually very funny, because growing up as a pastor's kid and, mm. and everything, I didn't have like an I um okay how can I put it, the I do dates yeah. you know like oh now I'm accepted Christ actually went for an auto call because I was actually eyeing a certain girl in the church. <laughs> I was a girl with this guy. <laughs> no, it's, it's, I joke. It's the yeah. first thing. <laughs> That's the truth, bro. Mm-hmm. So it was, for me, 
I tried, I was trying to get to this girl now. The strategy was, <laughs> if she sees me as one of them, you get the point, I would actually have a chance to yeah. get to her. But funny enough, the, like, the, the good part, the fortunate part was, I actually went for that otaku. Yeah. And afterwards, I never had, like, thoughts of, you know, and speaking of speaking of taking um, deliberate or praying deliberate prayers, I actually asked God to show me, to tell me if this is for me, if mm. the girl, the same girl, <laughs> yeah. is for me. You get the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where I want to talk to her. Oh, I have feelings for you and everything. But I said, if she's for me, she should say yes. If not. You'd say, no. say no. She said no. Yeah. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? <laughs> that's a, you know, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And and, 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 uh, no. And right. that was like that was actually I, I, that 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 wasn't an ultimatum. Mm. That was his um, desire, yes. basically. So he's asking God. Yeah. This is someone. Like, this who, is what I want. That your yeah. your will should be done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And yeah. he didn't even know that's the whether well, your will part mm-hmm. yeah. was mm-hmm. not present at that point. I think. Yeah. I'm. I'm yeah. just. No. I, I actually. Deliberately say it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that that was way beyond yourself. There's, those, yeah, those, there's, those, a, there's an artist I came to to go the same way. Uh, Lecrae. Yeah. Yeah. He said the same thing. Actually, that's experience. But a girl? No, it wasn't a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. I, I think he just wanted some kind of a sign, like something bigger. Yes. Than yes. And yes. then I think after praying that prayer, he got involved in a terrible car accident. It, like overturned. It was like mashed up and oh. whatnot. But then he made it out without without a scratch. So yeah, like, that, for well, me, for me I'm so was, <laughs> yeah. that sign was <laughs> enough, but still I had doubts, right. you know, but the other time where my, my nephew's same age range, uh, I was staying at my sister's place by then, I was in, that was after high school, we were having um, prayer meetings like every day at 20 hours to night to 2021 20, on a daily basis so that actually mm-hmm. helped me we had bible study and, and everything helped me to actually understand even though i was brought up in a uh, family that yeah, yeah we had bible study all the time you know, those moments get to, are the anointed um, appointments mm-hmm. you find most of the miracles no not the most miracles, all of the miracles that Jesus performed, mm-hmm. they all led to someone giving themselves to like believing in God mm-hmm. through Christ. Mm-hmm. You know, he heals the leper. What does the leper do? He has to follow it, go, um, Christ's instructions. It's 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 um. I actually appreciate those moments, especially if you can acknowledge it. Like you remember, this is the day, and I was asking for something very weird. Maybe mm-hmm. I was I was asking for. In fact, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Miles uh, Monroe. Yeah. yeah. He for him, why he got into reading the Bible? What what was his reason again? Because they were very poor, they mm-hmm. they were starving and stuff like that. You you find you are you are in a place of desperation, mm-hmm. and you have no idea of God. And God does things in a very weird way, like he uses your very characteristics. Because who which which um. 10 year old 12 year old will pick up the whole bible read the whole thing yeah. over and over until he's fully understood and, it and, and, and just to like like in tandem with that is that something that um that sort of ties into uh your growth as a christian as well like mm-hmm. who, who mentored you mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. growing up well yeah, yeah definitely um, oh, funny enough my my, my mom uh, was appointed pastor yeah uh, in 2013 so sh- so she's been a pastor since then mm. and last year she got married we married to my dad who's a bishop okay. who's heading a church yeah. and so she's been my mentor yeah. um from a household point of view mm-hmm. but i also had a covering with my, uh, somebody i refer to as spiritual dad okay. and that's reverend david nicola who's mm-hmm. walked with me and he's always sitting me down 
and whatnot. And even just growing up, even where I'm where I'm at right now, because even as artists, <coughs> usually yeah. we forget to feel ourselves. Yeah, true. You know, we're working and working and working yeah. and working. Now we forget that we're also children of God, but yeah. I'm the daughter of God before I'm the servant. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I always remind myself of that when I have um people like Lady Marina Chiteba, I don't know if you know her. She's the founder of Kupe's Network, one of those network. Mm -hmm. Yes, I sit under her as well. Okay. Just you know, she just brings me back to life and just says, you know, this is where you're at. How are you? How are you doing? How are you mm. doing emotionally, spiritually? Where are you at? And I think those moments keep you level headed yeah. and better. Because uh, the spotlight, yeah. the spotlight yeah. is yeah. tempting. Oh, it's, it's a lot of work. It's just, yeah, it's just it's so unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> it's star treatment. And just mm -hmm. along that that same vein, are are you at a place where you're um, in discipleship as well, where you're you are mentoring people as well? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, okay. I actually. Am. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. How how's that going? Like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot like, are you a people person? Why am I even telling this? Oh, I am. You are. She that's, does so that's awkward good, conversations. That's the oh. good part. Oh, nice, nice. That's the good. I'm, I'm very awkward actually. You can say, "Esther, how are you?" And I'll say, "I'm famous." <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna realize it after a while. Why did I say it? Yeah. But, <laughs> but okay. yes. Okay. It's cool. Been, yeah, it's, it's it's good because it also helps you uh, yeah. work on things maybe that you're slacking on. True. So, true. Yeah. yeah. And could you say the same about um, the artists that you work with as well? Mm -hmm. um, Mad Forty Four and Pompey you know, Oh and yes, them. yes. Like, do you guys have that um, the fellowship? That fellowship. We we yeah. do. Yeah. Those sometimes we fall off. You know, it's yeah. been long since we met, but, but oh, okay. we usually we usually do. We we actually have something. You guys should come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On okay. Sunday. Mm. On Sunday tomorrow. <laughs> yes, we have uh, uh, yeah. something called the gathering. So it's like church, but in the afternoon. So mm -hmm. we just come together and just, you know, break down scripture and just converse and eat. Is it happening next Sunday as well? Tomorrow. Yes, it's every Sunday. Every Sunday, okay. Yes. And so the, I know maybe tomorrow is too much of a short notice. Sunday. Yes, but... Oh, well. Make a plan, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, make a plan. Really She's you. invited us. I a have, superstar has invited yes. us. I have my new band practice on Sundays. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. My enough. new Christian band, by the way. So. Nice! But, 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 but that's a clapable moment. Yes, right? yes. But, but that, that, that would be a good um sort of like get together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that's like a, kind of like a bonding act of sorts. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, okay, let's let's go to this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You've been working on this EP for a while, so it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty much done. Yeah, yeah, you need a yeah. breather. Yeah, yeah, you need a breather. As a group. Oh, you've been, you've been working on it. Oh, yeah, oh, these yeah. guys have magnificent music. We need to talk, by the way. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, but, yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, okay right. so um, we've, we've, gotten, <laughs> we've gotten through your journey. Yes. Now, the future. Mm -hmm. What you, in fact, earlier you, you said this year is looking up. Was it just a faith thing, or we it's know both. what's up? Oh, okay. no, faith and before, side. Like, before, before we get to that, okay. Uh, I just want. I was very interested in your activism, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. sp specifically focusing on the the girl child mm -hmm. rights and everything. Mm -hmm. That is that uh, also tying back to you um, getting God across the. Children that you. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Everything is intentional with God, and so we should also be intentional about everything. Yeah. Right. And uh, I always tell myself and remind myself that the gospel shouldn't be preached in the church because that's where it lives. Mm -hmm. So we should take it to the world, you know. The way it's absolutely. Where it's supposed to be, yeah, you know, um, shared. Yeah. And so even with the activism side of me, I'm always taking it as being Jesus, you know, with skin mm -hmm. on, on earth. And speaking about the social ills that are happening, you know, from girls not being as protected as we is, we're supposed to be, uh, to just children, vulnerable yeah. children yeah. in society, and us being of help. And uh, then internal self empowerment, I'm sure. It's exactly. Yes. There's also there's also that. So I'm involved in uh, many of these activities. And I work with organizations. Uh, just last year, I partnered with uh, UNICEF uh, wow. during the children's rights convention, the three-day uh, convention, and it was really good just spending time with the children, spending time with the girls, wow. and it's really nice to have someone to look up to, mm -hmm. and so if 
people are looking up to you, the best you can do is just show them the right. Yeah, the right yeah, yeah. Yes, of yeah. course, with, with the fact that God is in all of this. You with know. great power. Yeah. Yeah. Great responsibility. Great responsibility. Mm-hmm. Pastor Walker always told us at Grandma saying, the more responsibility God gives you, the less rights you have. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's God first, <clears throat> and then the art second. And the art series. So Seven now, nine. like, I'm. I'm, so, I'm just so glad that I started this journey because it gives me such satisfaction and mm. fulfillment. So, yeah. Because I was imagine it should. It means the law. Yeah. It'd be right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, and I didn't necessarily leave law because of music. Yeah. Uh, life happened and then I found myself with the music. So it's intervention. More, yeah. you know, <laughs> more light. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 Just, just the mindset to get into that, it takes a lot. Like you are already set like friends, for it. They're like, oh, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a hobby. So you how, did, how, did, how did that pan out with with your? Did, did you have friends that um you sort of had to like stop hanging out with or? There was that. There's, still, there's, yeah. there's there's like friends that you know, uh, we just grew apart. Like yeah. naturally, you know, it's not even yeah. a beef type of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, 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 we're yeah. all yeah. now different spaces, yeah. and you I know, can, at the end of the day, you have to. Them. Sorry? I can't say jokes with that. It's okay. <laughs> Dirty jokes. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry for that, you know. So, no, that's fine. And then, and now you forgot the train of thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm a dangerous man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, yeah, some, some, some moments have been very, very hard, very difficult, very cheery. Yeah. yeah. But you have to understand where you're going as well. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, always... in line with that, how how would you deal with such a situation where you are a Christian and you are truly trying to build your life in in a Christian way, and you have somebody you care for that much that but they do not want to do with your faith. But still want uh, to be your friend, and they will yeah. feel hurt if you tell them. Of course, like you, you still, you still need to have those friends at the end of the day, mm-hmm. yeah, because you are the closest thing they have to Jesus mm-hmm. being here, like close to them. Yeah, and of course, like you can't be like, oh, let's hang out. Oh, yes, you know, it's party yeah, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. But you're always just checking up on them and and showing them love. Yeah. Showing them love, yeah. yes, because that's one thing I think we're lacking as a church. Yeah. We want the perfect people. Yeah. Yeah. Be with perfect the cause people. of the perfectionism actually. Exactly. Is so people against. are even going further away from the church. Like you, yeah. you guys are so hypocritical. Yeah. You guys are yeah. so yeah. you know, you want us in a certain way and I'm not there yeah. yet. Yeah. 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 So who are we to to say this is the person who should come to God? It's yeah. like I always say like oh, it's like more than day Pharisees. Oh, yeah. Who are being that, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. trying to see, you know, who deserves our God and who doesn't. Yeah, true. When he died for all of us before we were even, you know, yeah. some sort of yeah. righteous. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so even with the with the scripture that talks about Paul, Apollos, having planted and planted, like God, Jesus does the, the yeah. growing. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you just, you just show yeah. your, your, like, love. And speaking yeah. of Jesus as well, like, there's that misconception that, oh, he, he hung out with, like, prostitutes and tax collectors and sinners, but then he wasn't, like, drinking wine and merry making He wasn't equal yeah. 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 ministering to them. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. And yeah. We, yes. And a lot of people justify themselves. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. oh, hanging out with... Because but if you're not evangelizing, if you're not showing them God yeah. in one way or the other, then you're just yeah. wasting time. And stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. they usually just end there. They're like, oh, he hung out with tax collectors, prostitutes, and it ends there. It's like... It was intentional. No. If you yeah. if you see the story, you know he was having conversations with them yep. that were leading them to the truth. Mm. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, just like the wedding was the most general uh, place he has ever per- uh, performed a miracle. miracle. Like okay, um, no one needs to be saved here, but you want me to? Okay. <laughs> then he makes wine and mm-hmm. very peculiar. Yeah. Like then people use that to as an excuse for drinking. For drinking. So, it's very sad. <laughs> Read between the lines. Yes, yeah. Yeah. What, what would you say? Because um, in terms of our journeys, generally, like most Zambians, even those that turn away from God, there's always this background of uh, Christianity. Mm-hmm. I've faced some questions. I've been I've been messing around with YouTube a lot, mm-hmm. uh, watching these uh, oh boy, uh, these <laughs> the, these street preachers in the states. Mm-hmm. Uh, they usually bump into atheists and Muslims, mm-hmm. and what they would say is, 
you Christians are actually uh, brainwashed. And then I ask myself, like, what, in, in, in what way, really? Yeah, I know we are exposed to the faith all the way through, possibly. Like, and, anyone in Zambia should be able to say, I've seen a cross before, or I have the concept of a cross. Then you, that idea of it being um, indoctrinated, how true do you think it is? Relatively. Like, I, I just want to ask this question because you even went as far as studying theology and this is all within your faith. Mm -hmm. Everything is Christ. Mm -hmm. Everything Holy leads Jesus. to Christ. Yeah, so what what would you say to someone who says, ah, you're telling me all of these things. You're just doctrinated. Mm -hmm. You're not moving with the times. Like, what, what would you say to that person? Hmm. Honestly, um... I don't really have like an actual actual answer. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm still also growing in that. But what I would say would be God loves God loves God loves you. Like for example, if it's you. God loves you and there's every like everything that happens in your life happens for a reason, first of all. And so in you trying to explain God, you actually won't even find him if you're trying to do it that way. Yeah. God can't be explained. And so if you just open your heart and open yourself, like, mm -hmm. okay, here I am. Let's let's see, let's see what 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 do you have. He's he, he's he's very gentle. He doesn't mm. force himself on us. Mm. And so it's about you realizing, like, okay, there's actually something bigger and, yeah. and, and more powerful than what I see. You know, the governor outside. You know, who who made this same governor? Yeah. Yes. Um, we have those. You know, the Muslims believe in this. You know, we have the. the I don't know who are those other people who are the Hindus and all that. <laughs> yes. Goodness. And there's people who say we all have a piece of truth that's been cut from something and we won't all know the exact truth until we all come back together. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing I know for sure is that God is alive and mm -hmm. Jesus Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary and mm -hmm. he rose and when he, he, he died and rose, we rose with him. And honestly, that's all that needs to, to be understood as a Christian. And just how much God loves us. Yeah. We can go back and forth about theology and whatnot, but yeah. it's the basic things that change uh, people at the end of the day. So yeah, that's just, what you would say to a Muslim or an yes, it's it's I can't force myself on um, you. Yeah. God yeah. doesn't force himself. So who am I to shove the gospel down mm. your throat? You but know, he I, says, I'll just he say, says you are doctrinated. Yes. What? What if I am? I would rather be. And when I die, I'm like, oh, so that's. I love that response because yeah. that's exactly what I would say. Like, mm -hmm. okay, you 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 know it's yourself. Terrible. What what does that have to do with me? Mm -hmm. This is what I believe. Exactly. Believe no, what you believe. Like like what I say last the, the last podcast we had. I, for me, I find peace in Christian. For me, it's being free from my from myself, from my desires. From that's that's what salvation means for me. If I am able to put myself before somebody else, mm. it is for me. I am living Christ. Like if I'm able to get rid of the 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 nasty habits that I am or was experiencing or was doing, I am free. It should have a purpose. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it is me being having mental health. Me being healthy in every aspect of my life and christianity has provided that for me yeah it has provided clarity it has provided uh, uh a, a path for me to actually walk in the right way mm -hmm. so it is just the experience it is my testimony against it's it all has to be doctrines. personal like you have yeah. your own conviction your own belief why should you force it on anyone and why should they question? But that's the belief? thing, because sometimes we come out like we're forcing yeah. this. And, and yes, we'd like as many people as possible to go to heaven. And, yeah. But you just do the work of just introducing mm. God to the person. Because Christ didn't go to every one of the people. Even just yourself, who yeah. forced you? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. just to finish off, yeah. your year, just what's up this year? <laughs> like, what can you I tell? I guess Tumelo said everything. Did I? Documentaries? Yes, you confirmed no, it. No. Okay, we don't know. Like, what, <laughs> what, 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 what is open for people to know? So uh, you've got the TV show still running. Oh yes, yes. Um, yes that um, 
Any albums, music coming through? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. TV show? Wait, you're hosting something, right? Yes. yes. Like yes. a live music thing? No. No, it's no, a no, lifestyle. No, no, no. That, that was, but are you, is that thing still happening? No. Yeah. Oh, wait, what, what happened? happened? No, hold on. Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> no, like the live oh, music. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was going on. Yeah. It was so dope, but it didn't, it didn't take off. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. we're doing to go and get lifestyle. But, but, okay. It was cool. like unplugged. Yes. Live bands. Yeah. Man, and it, it failed. How, how do you feel such a simple and beautiful thing? Let's Anyways, yeah, we're going to do it. Oh, oh, there's an idea that we're supposed to run through from. Part of the band thing and things. Anyways, oh. um, okay. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Well, what what does it look like for me? Um, definitely more work with the uh, organization. So, nice. you know, that's also taking most of yeah. my time yeah. and new music coming soon. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'll say. All right. Okay. okay so Should like ending this. Mm-hmm. Let's make it very awkward. Your favorite song. And you sing a verse in it. In it or from, from it? From my album? From it. From my album? Yes, especially that. Yeah. That's for me. But if you have your own favorite song, you can pick that and sing a verse. Damn. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. Okay? So back <laughs> off. <laughs> okay. By the way, this is all Muka. We yeah. not okay. like contrive. Okay. I always do yeah. this. Fair enough. Um, yeah. It's any it your favorite song, yeah, whichever song you pick. Song. Yeah. Um, is this song, I don't even know who who who, who sang it, but I always <laughs> sing it just to remind God of where I'm at because He always wants to know where we're at as well. Yeah. Yeah. He's a very, he's a very kind God. He's a very kind Father. Yeah, so we need to be in constant, constant surrender. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Die daily. Yeah, die daily. But I'm a very awkward person, so I don't want you guys to look at me. Okay. So. I'm not I'll look at the camera and like smile. Yeah. yeah. Or, or I could, I could, I could just film. <laughs> I'll be like the camera guy. <laughs> 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 no man, my voice I didn't do my voice. It's fine. Yeah, the best voice here anyway, so it's it's good. Okay. I give it all to you, God. Trusting that you made something beautiful out of me. I give it all to you. Trusting that you made something beautiful out of me, and I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. I will climb this mountain with my hands wide open. I will climb. This mountain with my hands wide open, I will climb. This mountain with my hands wide open. Yep. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Whoa, this one is the greatest day. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, All right. Um, so we were with the legendary wow. Esther Chungu. Madam, what, what socials are there for you in yes. the public? Oh, okay. Um, oh, is this one <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, you can reach me on the page Esther Chungu. Instagram, at it's Esther Chungu. Twitter, at it's Esther Chungu. Tinder, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a joke. We did not ask yeah. that question because we're that yeah. respectful. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. If you want to Judge. find out, bump into oh. her, wow. have an awkward conversation, and very randomly ask that question, she'll answer. Yeah. So, 
So thank, thank you. you very much for joining us. Yeah, and such a great time. time. Thank you so much, you guys. Sweet. Well, yeah. Sorry, but yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we have a lot to do with the metal. It's going to be dealt with. Adequately. Nope. All right. So this was Muka. Dano to Melo. Moses Chimanjika. The one who took over the. But she didn't even ask us questions. No, she didn't. She was the like, no, oh, yes, please. No. Uh, why Ethos? Yes. Why do I have to ask you? Yeah. <laughs> you were what wait. Is it, wait, 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 is, wait, wait, is it an English word? Why not? Yes, it is. Oh, Actually, it comes from, from Greek. Greek. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but um, it's just this um, central theme and like commonality that we all share that like drives us as a unit. So it's like the same way we share our ideals as Christians mm-hmm. and as believers, but you know what? I'm, I'm not going to try to be deep with it. This was a social experiment. <laughs> yeah. We're all nerds and awkward people. So we, Very so, awkward. So, so we thought to ourselves, You're hmm, so awkward. What, <laughs> what, could, <laughs> what could we do to like challenge our social anxiety and whatnot? Mm-hmm. You know, like, okay, we should just talk to people. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And also exposing your personalities yeah. to the public because yeah. what great uh, things you are doing every one of the guests we've had have, are doing something spectacular in mm-hmm. whatever field that they're doing and people don't even know how human they are mm-hmm. so, so that's why it's easy for, for them to be bullied on social media exactly yeah, yeah. we talked about social media yeah, media 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 yeah it's uh, have you just, experienced that? like being bullied on social media or something? Well, I would lie if I said I have. Like yeah. yes, some 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 small small um experiences, but I have had friends who, you know, experienced oh. the full blown mm. uh, cyber bullying, and it's, it's really not nice. If you've got nothing nice to say, no. you can simply go offline. Yeah, <laughs> That's what Mama said. Yeah. So, yeah. No, she didn't say. She said, "Don't say anything at all." Yeah, yeah. don't say anything at all. Yeah, so that's a topic for another day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Very good but topic. we are so grateful. This has been an honor, Thank and you. we are so proud of you yeah. for all the work together. you're doing. <laughs> yeah. All right. If you have one more question for us, I think we can answer that quickly. Then we can close. Where can I find the episode? Anyone? The episode. <laughs> Send you the links. Ever a podcast of clowns? <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. YouTube. So um, we're, we're on Anchor, yeah. Instagram, is it? Is it well, Spotify as well? So. Spotify. And for the for the people who've got iPhone, do you have it available on the Apple, podcast uh, app or no? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay, not okay. yet. Yeah. Okay. I think those are public stream podcasts, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. we haven't put that. Okay. And on YouTube now. So Things are coming up there as well. Spotify, Anchor, um, Tidal, Google Podcasts, Podbean. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think pretty much ever like podcasts are found. So yeah, okay. yeah. So we we'll send you the links. Great, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Yeah, you find the links in the descriptions. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you will. Uh, yeah, we're not oh, sorry, one more. I yeah. know he goes to Miracle Life Family Church. Which churches do you go to? Dun, dun, dun. Baptist Church. Where? Canada Square. Nah, nice. I'm finding my church. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Dun, dun, Former dun. Catholic. Oh, nice. Very yeah. He's in between churches. <laughs> <laughs> Recovering I, Catholic. But not in between denominations? That's... that's. Um, as long as it's a God uh, God first, word mm-hmm. first, mm-hmm. Christ first, mm-hmm. I'm all down yeah, for it. Good. No Baba first. <clears throat> good, good. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You got a spark up some well, no, no. <laughs> yes, That's me. That's me. I'm not Thank saying anything. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Bye. What's the Bye. Bye.